Hello Zebraherd, welcome back to Plants vs Zombies 3. Today, we are getting our third daily login reward, which is an extra sun power up. Always nice to have one of those, so get that into our inventory. We're up to six of them, or five of them in total now. And the Sunflower event ended. Looks like there might be another event soon enough though, so that's pretty cool. We did a great job. And the event for Hole in One is also finished up. So the column crash course, kill zombies in the marked columns to score points and earn rewards. It is exactly what we wanna work on for now. But first off, it's giving me all sorts of stuff. There's a win streak event happening now. That's really cool. Hold on. Let me actually look into that. <laughs> it, it's giving me a little bit of everything right now. Uh, I was really curious about that. Win levels without losing to grow your three Peter and earn bonus boosts. That sounds really cool. So we'll have to try to win some in a row, but last episode we explored the pool and it went pretty well. So now we're heading into like this campground swamp area. There's a lot to do around here. So level 60 is gonna be a hard difficulty level. I'm not exactly sure if that's gonna turn out super well, but we have sunflower, walnut, cabbage pole, bong choy, and squash. Let's get started. So, ready, set, plant. We know that it, we also get an electric root, which is pretty nice. I probably just immediately wanna start with the sunflower. It's pretty usual for us. But uh, if the zombies show up on the bottom, we'll at least have some kind of plant to help us out here. And then I figure we'll work our way up to maybe having some bong choys and walnuts and stuff. Obviously, I wish it sort of would work out better because we have these dirt patches that definitely make things complicated, but for right now, a little imp over here, huh? I think we will do a bong choy if possible. Just one more sun. One more sun will do the trick right here. There we go. Imp should be dealt with pretty easily. There we go. And then keep that up, another sunflower. And then this imp is gonna get electrocuted. I don't know why we only get one electric reed. Like that part's a little bit odd to me, but uh, it is what it is. We'll just keep going with like cabbage pulse and stuff. And the bong choy is gonna deal with both that imp and that brown coat, so that could be nice. I think I'll put a walnut out there, work on getting more sunflowers out. Really try to make the most out of the fact that uh, there's not too many zombies out at the moment. Some of them are starting to stack up a bit more. Sunflower. Let's do a cabbage pole maybe here. We'll see how that goes. Okay, huge wave of zombies are coming in. I have to see exactly where they're gonna pop up first. Okay, so the one I'm the most worried about is probably uh, that bucket head up top. Hmm. What if I were to. There's a lot I could do here, but I think I probably just want to do this and then maybe walnut right there. I don't know if that's gonna work out for the, the zombies that follow after. Okay, and since there's two zombies here, let me do this real quick and see how that goes. I just wish we could put out more electric reeds here. I feel like that would be the big difference maker. Because yeah, you can see up here with the walnut, the bong choice can't actually reach it. Oh no, I'm a little bit worried about this. Uh, if this zombie over here is eaten through, I'm just gonna do that for now. Get more cabbage bolts out, a little bit more damage, might do the trick. Okay. So we got Grapes of Wrath coming out too. That will help a little bit as we're trying to get ahead here. I think I'll do a bong choy on this one. And if I could just get one more sun from somewhere to set up a walnut to protect the bong choy, that's really, really good. So there's a ton going on at the moment. It's a little overwhelming, but I think we can do it. If I could get three more sun, two more sun, one more sun, I think what I could do here is another bong choy and it might start getting chomped out. Oh, it, it actually got destroyed immediately. Uh-oh, that's not good. I thought we'd have some time there. Unfortunately, we did not. And then, oh no, this lane is having a hard time too. This is definitely starting to catch up to us a little bit more. But if I could just hold on for a little bit longer. The final wave is approaching. I think what we'll do is this and then bong choy. Good enough, good enough. It's this bottom lane that seems to be a bit of trouble. I don't know if there's too much I can do about it at this point. I think it's too far gone. We just need to focus on some of the other lanes, especially lanes that are gonna have, oh no, there we go. Lanes that are gonna end up having a, a gargantua on it is not gonna be so good for me. So I need to figure this out. First things first, go ahead and slam you. Uh, I do see up top there's a zombie marching through. 
Wait, did I, did, 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 oh no, I didn't even see them. I was so focused on the gargantua or the pigeon snuck right by me on the bottom. Whoops, my bad. Let me try that again. One thing I'm trying to do a little bit differently this time is keep all the sun production over here and hoping that that makes everything a little bit more survivable. We'll have to wait and see. First things first is I want to put a bong like way back here and then maybe on top of that, oh man. Uh, this definitely gets complicated. I think I really need to dig these two up and also do the same thing, put a bong choy over that way, just like that. And then maybe just squash the bucket head up top for now, because I just want to make sure everything gets dealt with appropriately. Yeah, I think that's a good idea, just for now, just to make this all a little bit more handleable. Something like that might make a difference. Oh boy, it's not gonna be easy. I don't know if this will inevitably be better, but for now, it isn't so bad. I hope that Bong Choy does not get gobbled up. Okay, luckily doesn't. I'm putting this here, the Grapes of Wrath is also gonna come in to do some help for us, and that's always good to see. I think we put a Walnut there, and we gotta start working on that top lane now. Top lane's gonna be a little bit confusing, I think, for now, or at least challenging. Okay, let's go ahead and start punching through all this stuff. Then if I could just get a Walnut up top there so that I can inevitably just end up squashing them, I think that's good. Oh no, speaking of squashing though, I don't know, I might get rid of these guys. The bucket had proven to be a little bit of a concern there. So now the top lane is in like a really bad spot actually. Hmm. I think I might just have to let that get destroyed. Really be careful the pigeons this time. Yes, this is just crazy, crazy tough. Okay, so now that that's about to go off, this is where I set this up, make sure it gets protected now. Just do a little combo like that. As the Gorgantua starts to march in, this is where I get a little scared. But I get another cabbage pulled out over here. Every other lane is looking fairly survivable. So if we could just you know start working on, I basically have to squash the Gorgantua off of cooldown for this to really work. Oh man, I think top lane is looking fine, but the bottom one, the Gargantua is actually on. Definitely a bit scarier. We're almost there though when it comes to getting another Grapes of Wrath. That might end up making a difference. I'll go ahead and, oh, the Bonk Choi is gonna get squished. Hate to see it. Still a lot more to get through here. Okay, here we go, here we go, here we go. What can I do here? Oh, the Gargantua is down for the count, which means we only have a little bit more left to survive here. If I squash, who? Probably the Pigeon Zombie because of course he's just making more zombies for us to deal with. That was much better. I didn't have to use any power-ups or anything. We got through it, no problem. So there we go, I mean we had to use Mo, but like I said before, I'm pretty sure Mo doesn't remove any bonuses by you know, using them. And I guess I'll watch the ad for times two. All right, so let's see what our next level is gonna be. But now that we got that upgrade, I think we can properly start the next day and we qualified for the event. So we do get a little infinite brains. Very cool, I can also claim a little treasure chest right down here. All right, group reward, what do we get? Ooh, nice stuff there for sure. More power-ups we definitely make wanna make the most out of. Okay, so back in out of here. Uh, we have enough tickets to go ahead and start a new day, day five. And oh, there's Mo. So Mo's gonna suck up all the, the fumes again. Fog analysis. Saturation levels are within acceptable parameters. Dispersal sequence, engage. All right, Mo, be safe. Looks like that did the trick, though. It looks like Mo is handling that Z-Fog pretty well. Those upgrades really did the trick, Uncle Dave. Yeah, but that nasty vapor is bad news, and clearing it probably hurts like Hogwoggle. Mo's a real trooper, but the sooner we find the missing components and build our fog vacuum, the better. Footprint analysis. These tracks could indicate experimental zombie pigman activity. Proceed with extreme caution. Whoa, zombie pigman? Well, that's a chilling thought. We better look for more clues before we join any conclusions or jump to any conclusions. All right, so what do we gotta do here with the look for more clues? That'll require two tickets. Let's do two more levels. Um, right over here, we get a bonus. I guess if we get this level done here, we get a bonus. That'd be pretty cool. With this one, we do have the ice pee as well, so that'll be pretty nice. Some zombies stop what they're doing to attack a plant in front of them. Like the, the pigeon zombie here. 
try putting a walnut in front of this pigeon feeder to keep them from calling pigeons. So if we keep him busy, he can't call the pigeons. That's a good idea. So maybe some walnuts a little bit farther ahead. We also get the rake trap booster. I don't know if I activated that myself. I think that's just what it gives you for the win streak or whatever. I'm not quite sure, but I'll definitely try to make the most out of it here as we go through this level. Only get rid of our first person there. Looks like the puddle's gonna be building up too, which is pretty nice. With the rake trap, it's a great advantage. Um, so I definitely want to just do what I can where I can. So there goes that zombie. Build another one up right there. Oh no, the moment I do, the moment I do, I'm just gonna squash him. Just gonna squash him. I feel so silly, but I guess it'll pay out eventually, regardless. Okay, so what do we have next? I mean, we have a row of sunflowers. I think that's enough for the situation. I'm just waiting to see where the zombies, there's an imp here. So I think that'll be fairly easy enough to deal with. A cabbage pole in every lane for now. Seems like it would do the trick, but there's a lot going on over here. I probably should have put that a little bit farther ahead. This will slow them down a lot. Okay, now I'll put the walnut there. And then either cabbage pole or snow pea. I'll do a cabbage pole right here. Cause I think these imps will be dealt with fairly enough. We'll see, we'll see. That one lane doesn't have any offensive plants on it just yet, so let's go ahead and fix that. And we got rid of both of the imps, so Snoopy doing some good work for sure. This level feels pretty doable at this point. Just gotta keep at it. Destroying imps all over the place. That's always good. Uh-oh, what do you think you're doing? You're about to throw out some pigeons and I do not want that, so. Got that there. And. I'll do a snow pee right there just to slow you down a little bit more, but then you get knocked out. And we're making our way through this pretty well, though. Some flowers produce more and more as we get more puddles and stuff, too. Okay, this bottom lane, this is where things get tough because I can't actually stop you with a walnut, unfortunately. There we go. So I guess right now I'll do this. I hope that the cabbage pole does its thing. And that means we just need one more snow pea right there, and we have basically our full setup. At this point, we wanna save up for squashes for this gargantuar. Gargantuars are showing up way more often. So, boom, ready, and got you there. I have this one if we do need more stuff, but I'm a little bit worried. I think I might get rid of this sunflower and do another cabbage pole. Because there's a lot going on over there. So unfortunately, here, I'm gonna go ahead and put a sunflower there for a little bit. This is the last wave of everything. So it certainly makes things a little complicated, especially as those pigeons try to eat through stuff. I don't know exactly how I wanna do this right now. Oh no. Um, I'm gonna put a sunflower here because it should produce extra sun that way. And then I'll, I'll just do a walnut here because that way we need to slow down the pigeon production as much as possible. I have a lot of sun, so I think I'll just use that to do another cabbage pole here. If they eat through that, I need the squash this group, because it's two pigeon zombies. It's getting very overwhelming. And then I can start cycling plants down this way to slow down the gargantua a bit. Oh, there it is, awesome. We finally got rid of you. We put a one on top of the pigeons to stop that too, and we were able to get through this level without losing anything. That was amazing. Really difficult for sure, but we found a way through and we get all these gravestones too. We get 51 coins and a taco ticket. So let's keep it moving. We still have one more level left to do. Okay, so with that level done, you can see our three Peter is starting to grow. It's two pea shooters right now, so it's a two Peter. But let's make it a three Peter here in just a moment. Um, for this one, we do get a little bonus. So that's pretty cool especially since it's another hard mode level. This time we do have the lily pad as well. We'll just really try to make the most out of it. Ready, set, plant. And I guess I'll immediately just, boom, lily pad, extra starting sun, um, a rake trap, pretty cool. So we have time and opportunity here just to get some plants ready. Something like that might be good. Got it. We don't have walnuts this time, so I feel like really the goal is just to set up a wall lily pads to protect us. 
if not anything else. It's funny that the rake still works, even though it's like in the water. Sort of a funny concept, if you think about it. There we go, put some of that stuff there. And we just need one more sunflower there. Pretty happy with that. I think we'll start with a snow pea here. That seems pretty good. Like I said before, we just have to be careful because there's not much of a chance of getting any kind of like major plant protection. We don't have any walnuts or anything, so it can get complicated pretty quick. And I just hope that the sunflowers can get boosted by the puddles a little bit more. Those can spread around more, that'd be good. So let's do a snow pea over there. If things get a little too close, we can always just set up more lily pads because they just have to eat through those. So I'm trying to make sure that like off of cooldown, those get placed down. Just like that. And there's a lot of zombies up here. This might be the first spot where we need a squash, the wait and see, but it is looking a little scary. Let's slow them down on this side. Also put a lily pad out. Okay, we got rid of one zombie there. I'm just trying to make sure that every lane actually has a plant. Might be our, our best thing to focus on for the time being. Uh, okay, that was pretty good. This bucket head up on top is a little bit scary, but I think overall, how do I wanna do this? Uh, I think I might need it for you. And then I can put this here, especially with another bucket head on the way. Oh no. Okay, that cone head on the bottom was really scary. We don't have another squash for a while and that's concerning because that top lane's getting really, really close. So I think what I do is just dig you up, put another snow pea. I think that'd be pretty good. A lily pad on the bottom, just slow them down. Even for just a second, I think that's a difference maker. I'm still a while away from this squash though. Oh man. I think we got it on the top lane. How are the other lanes going? Maybe this? Uh, okay, Grapes of Wrath, that's actually pretty huge. That makes a decent difference for sure. Final wave is approaching. I think out of everything here, I should do that and I should do this. Oh no, we lose our cabbage pole right as I do that though. That's definitely unfortunate. Okay, cabbage pole back there. We are gonna need to deal with our gargantua as he gets closer. And that's very scary. I'll do this over this way. I'm just trying to make sure I have enough sun, sure, but also just that everything else is going. If this is the last setup, then slow these guys down with the lily pad. Do this, get some sunflowers over here. Because I need to squash these guys. It's a huge group of them. So if I can just get rid of all the friends there, I think that's fine. All the friends of the gargantua, that is. You slow down for a bit. There's just so much going on. I'm trying to help out each of these lanes, but it's proving to be really, really tricky. Okay, wait, wait, lily pad, lily pad. Ah, oh, a little too late on that lily pad. We're in trouble, actually. We're in big trouble here. Um, I think out of the two of them, it looks like I should probably just do this. I might just have to cherry bomb it. Yeah, unfortunately, I had to cherry bomb it, but at least we got through it so that we could keep that win streak. That was a big thing. Um, All right, so that was definitely a tough level. What do we got next? A bunch of gravestones, and of course, 147 coins. There we go. So, what do we have next? So we need to do one more level, I think? No, 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 we're good. Let's go ahead and look for more clues. Let's fan out and search for more signs of this, whatever it is. I love a good mystery. Meanwhile, uh-oh. Crazy, or not crazy, Dodger Zombie boss, that's no good. Tugboat. Come in, Tugboat. For the last time, if you're out there, I command you to respond. Over. Tugboat. What? Who authorized you to go whizzing around in some rocket chair? Where are you now? Tugboat? Well, figure it out and get back here. Now that the Z-Fog subdu has subdued the human population, it's time for phase two of my dastardly plot. Tugboat? Mm-hmm. 
Tugboat? Phase two, where I seize control of Neighborville and turn it into a suburban utopia, you fool. It's the most important phase. Oh no. Dr. Zomboss up to a whole lot of bad stuff here. Status report, no further signs of pigman activity detected. Perhaps a trap of some kind is in order? Good idea, Mo. Let's build a trap and see what wanders in. Huh. Okay, so if they're actually zombie pigmen? All right, well, we need to build a trap that's gonna require two tickets, so before we do, let's take a little vase breaker break. I guess we can get a wana out of this or something? Interesting. Or no, no, I guess we use walnuts here. I thought that was saying that was the reward. Okay, we got our first imp here. I think I see what I do. I think I, I just wanna line them up, so like hold them all together so that when the squash squishes, it squishes all of them. So we can really just speed up and then dig them all up. Okay, the only scary part about that, oh, I see, is that if you don't do it at just the right spot, the bucket heads and the imps aren't gonna line up very well. Okay. Hmm. That's not good. Can I give it another go? I can. I wonder if I can just try it as many times as I want. So, let's do that again. But I don't wanna put them too far over. That's the tricky spot. So, maybe here would just be fine. And then if I just let that do its own thing, maybe that's just better. Come on, come on, squashes. Do your squashing thing. There we go, we got it. Because if we put it one more to the left, the, the squash would have just squished whichever zombie got there first. That was fun, I definitely enjoyed that one. Fun little puzzle solving there, we got some more infinite brain time, and we can go to our next two levels. First up, we have level 71, we get a huge bonus for this one, so let's give this a try. We have sunflower, walnut, cabbage, pulp, bong choy, and squash. And it's not a hard mode level, so I do appreciate that too. Ready, set, plant. I'm immediately gonna go for the sunflower. We got the extra starting sun, rake trap, and candy thing, so that could be good. It's a nice sunshiny level this time, instead of it being all rainy and stuff. But we don't have any lily pads. That's the one thing that's a little bit complicated about this. Okay, so that zombie should get knocked out pretty easily. I think what I'd wanna do is, uh, hmm, probably just get, if I can, a good amount of rose of sunflowers here, and then also work on getting some cabbage pullets out. So, I mean, the squash is probably gonna squish those guys. That's inevitable. But it's not gonna get the one behind that. So maybe we do that and I get a sunflower here. I'm sort of trying to think through everything, but time is of the essence in a game like this, so I gotta make every moment count. I'm gonna set this up here. And then here comes our first imp. I think I will just boom and boom. Wait, wait, uh, there we go, got it. And then I might have to do a similar thing with this other zombie. I'm a little bit afraid that they won't quite reach. Okay, maybe I shouldn't have done it like that. Should have put the walnut in front of them. That was a mistake. Not really what I had intended to do. I just sort of clicked the wrong one. So let's see if I can maybe earn up enough sun to at the least squash these two. That didn't work at all. What was that? <laughs> okay, a little weird, but zombies are showing up so fast. It's crazy. I just need one more sun to get a bong choy up top. And hopefully that gives me enough time to at the least get some other plants set up in some other spots. Once again, I don't have lily pads, so it definitely makes some things complicated. That does buy me a little bit of time. Or maybe I could just put a walnut here, go like this, get the bong choy. That's what I had intended to do before. Especially as the zombies move a little bit slower over there. Okay, cabbage pull in that area too. Now we're doing something. Okay, here come the Grapes of Wrath as well, so we're sort of getting ahead with it all. That's good. Final wave approaching. So let me do another Cabbage Pulp this time down here. Okay, yeah, well, I guess we're doing the candy thing now. That does clear out a lot of them, so that's at least good. Okay, Walnut. And then here comes that Gargantuar. Might as well squish him. Squish him as much as we can. I don't know what he was slamming there. 
So I don't need a bong choy in that one lane. I guess what would be good for right now then is to get a cabbage pole here to really stack up damage on you. The imp will get knocked out really fast. And then maybe as soon as you're past it, you're gonna be going real slow so we can really punch you out here. That would be a good idea. Cause we're really just buying time with the gargantuar. Keep punching there and as soon as he squishes this walnut, I go boom, put a sunflower there. He has to squish that now. And then there we go, we get it, awesome. So long clear, get that done, and we get a bunch of coins. That was a fun one, for sure. I mean, we obviously had a lot of extra starting stuff that made that level a lot more survivable, but there you go. So, we need one more level. This one is gonna be the hard mode one, but we still have this bonus. So I'm a, I'm a little bit worried, but a little bit less worried because of that. Okay, let's get to it. All these different upgrades starting right away. Okay, so. I think for right now, just gonna continue with the sunflowers and then we'll see what we might need where. Because we do have these dirt patches, which as per usual, make things a little bit complicated. I'll put a sunflower in this one puddle. And the other puddle shows up exactly where I can't do anything about it. Okay. There's our first zombie. I'm not really worried about it though. The second zombie, after that though is more of a concern. The puddles are spreading, so that's good. Okay, let's just go, go ahead and get the snow pea there too. Because I don't think all three of them can get hit by the rake yet. Unfortunately, it does not work that way. Okay, so I think here, how do I want to do this one? Uh, probably with all the zombies coming up this way, do something like that. Got the walnut out there too, so can only hope it makes a difference. I might get some sunflowers out this way for now, but replace them later. That seems like a good idea. And where are the other zombies gonna pop up? I see one right down here. It looks like a couple more behind them, so I might follow up. Oh, I really need another sun for that one. Pigeon zombie, ready, boom. I really don't want pigeons coming in, so if we need to put a walnut up there, so be it. It buys us some more time or I can put a snow pea up this way for that one imp. That should be enough to hold it back. Okay, do this. It feels like every time I play something on a puddle, a new puddle pops up. I'm not sure if that's entirely true, but it would be nice if it is. Okay, so they're about to hop on this candy machine, so I might as well pop it. There you go, that was really good. And then, oh, I haven't put any plants here. I was like, <laughs> why are they still marching towards us? That would be why. So, cabbage pulled up here for sure would be a good idea, I think. And then a huge wave of zombies is coming in. I've done what I can so far, but we really need to keep it moving. I think I probably wanna put a walnut right over here. Dig that up, put a sunflower there instead. Might be better. The top and bottom lanes are a little bit scary just because we can't put anything there, but I can at the least do this, and then right over here do that. There we go, just trying to spread some stuff around. We have a lot of sun at the moment too, so lots of options to just beat up some zombies, really get the firepower out there. Out of each of our lanes, it looks like, okay, we got the Grapes of Wrath too. This level's going very, very well. For being a hard level, this is great. We'll do something like that, because I can't put the walnut like right here. Nope, not gonna work. That wasn't the final huge wave though, which is concerning. So I'll do something like that. Lots of stuff being fired all over the place. Bottom lane is the one that's the scariest right now though. There's like not really much I can do about it if those zombies push through. Okay, dig this one up, do another one of those. There we go. And that way, hopefully the sunflower can produce sun, but also, not have to worry about, oh no, uh, the gargantua getting farther. That's what I'm hoping with the sunflower over there. This bottom lane though, they're just getting closer and closer. I think I'm gonna replace this for another snow pea. If they eat through that one snow pea, just put a walnut there and I think we'll be okay. Okay, no, we're fine, we're fine. That's great. So, buy ourselves some more time. Get that set up. Get that walnut there. And I think it's only a matter of time before we defeat this dude. 
Let's find out. There we go. So yeah, we found a way through that level with the extra bonuses we got there. Made it way more survivable. Get some extra coins. I'll give that one a thumbs up. And we'll keep moving. We're going towards 10,000 coins here, which is great. And do we have any progression in our league? Not yet, but we're getting there. Definitely getting there. And we have the two tickets. Let's give this a try. We're building a trap. Whoa, it's a pretty primitive trap here. Blammo, the Dave Tech trap o -matic is complete. Now all we need is some bait. Whatever our mystery creature may be, I bet you it loves tacos. I'll go for wrangle some from the taco tree. All right, well you do that crazy, Dave. Wow, look at all those tasty taco blossoms. Come to pop, pop come to poppy, you scrumptious little num gumplers. No. Whoops, sweet mama pajama, these things are scrum nothings. I better get back to our trap and set the bait before the rest of them accidentally fall into my mouth. All right, Crazy Dave, I'm glad that we got the tacos. So we need to set the bait. That'll take two more levels, so let's keep going. We still have this three beater bonus, which is amazing. So let's give this a try. Hoping we run into some new plants soon. Bowling zombie can attack plants from range. Whoa, oh no. We got a new zombie bowling zombie with the bowling ball there. I don't like this guy. So I guess maybe he's this game's version of like the catapult zombie or something. Okay, well, I think the squash is gonna deal with him, just like that. This could definitely get really complicated really fast. So if I could just get out as many sunflowers as possible for the time being, and then maybe work on pea shooters, bong choy, in that order, I think that'd be good. So that zombie's gonna get hit by the rake. That's always good to see as well. I might wanna keep this gumball machine nice and protected. Just that way, I can worry about everything else. And like, we only need to use that when we really, really need it. Okay, there's enough going on here that I think I want to already get one more sun. Please, please, please. Finally, there we go. And then just punch away these imps. I don't think they'll eat the bong choy. If they do, I'll be furious. I'm furious. Okay, let's go ahead and maybe re, I don't know, I'll keep going. I was gonna say maybe we should redo that one. Um, I think you only have one arm. So there we go, that finishes you off. Uh, I don't know, I feel like we should have been able to get through that one. That was sort of baloney. Um, but I'll do this. And then over here. Oh, did I click it? Oh no, I didn't mean to. Okay, well, I guess it gives us a little bit of an opportunity to work a little bit more here. The final wave is already approaching. This is where it gets scary because we have this bowling zombie right over there. I already see him. But we have lanes here that haven't even gotten any plants yet. Just haven't had the opportunity. So if I could just get a pea shooter here, get a little bit more here and there. Maybe I could, uh, okay, we'll get one imp knocked out. I need to do this and then get one more sun. Please, one more sun. Come on, where are my sun at? I, I don't understand. That is so ridiculous. I need to squash this group. I don't this did not go well. But luckily the Grapes of Wrath are coming in and maybe, just maybe, that'll make a difference. Maybe it won't, I have no clue at this rate. I need to dig you up and actually put a plant that can fight there. And then if we could just stall this guy out for as long as possible and then squash him, like maybe that's the better idea. Let me do this, let me get a walnut there. And then get some extra sun here and there. I think we're fine with uh, putting a pea shooter here. We do have the squash available, there we go. So luckily we still made it through thanks to our bonuses that we started with. But man, that was sort of silly, wasn't it? All right, get a bunch of coins. Continue onward. And we still have one more level left to go if we wanna continue through this day, so I definitely wanna do that. Uh, let's do level 74, where we have two walnuts, sunflower, snow pea, and bamboo shoot, which we haven't seen in a little bit, so that's cool. Ready, set, plant, we know the deal. Do something like that. But I'm glad that the three Peter like lasts so long. It definitely has made some of these levels doable, or I would've failed before and that's at least appreciated. Okay, so. I get that there. For now, I'm just focused on one row of sunflowers. Maybe I'll put another one, like, farther up. So I can put here, and then one more. 
All right, sunflowers pop back up again. Got it. Got it. Okay, so got a zombie over here. I wanna slow this dude down as soon as possible. Get the walnut out that way too. That seems like a good idea. I think we'll focus on the snow peas first. Overall, I think that'll be best. Another zombie popping up over there. That's where we can start using the bamboo shoots. Just because it's a lot of zombies, they're gonna try to eat through that really fast. Okay, where is the next set of zombies gonna pop up after that though? That's a big question. I guess in the meantime, I could still do more walnuts, so I should work on that. Because this one bowling zombie also has a lot of help. The huge wave of zombies is coming through. And it looks like for now they're mostly in the same spot they were before, except for over here. There we go. Got it. And then maybe a bamboo shoot down this way. And they might eat through some sunflowers. I think that is what it is. There we go. Yeah, we're knocking some stuff out here then. That seems pretty good. I wouldn't mind just, you know, even more sunflowers, but. They just eat through the uh, the walnuts so fast in this game. It's pretty crazy. Okay, got it. That one imp over there shouldn't be too much of an issue. Get another walnut there. One more sun should get us one more sunflower. And if things look really scary, that's when we can use the uh, the candy machine. Okay, Graves of Wrath though will be what saves us for now, I guess. Problem is the, the zombies are too far out for it for the most part. Okay, snow pea there. Now let's do another bamboo shoot, I think. Let's do it right here where the imp is. Then I need two more sun to get another walnut right there. Just trying to survive this. There we go. That should get rid of a lot of imps on that top lane. Got it, awesome. We almost have. Another walnut that we can use to slow down the bowling zombie. One more bamboo shoot. So at this point, if I had to work on anything more, I guess it would be more bamboo shoots over the sunflowers. And just making sure I have enough for uh, more walnuts to be replaced whenever. So we'll do the top lane, because that's the one with the bowling zombie, and I don't like dealing with that. But here come more zombies. It's not the final flag just yet. Okay, right down here. Time for another bamboo shoot. That seems pretty good. And right over here, got it. Another walnut, another walnut, there you go. So the double walnut is also a really helpful factor here, for sure. And having the double row sunflowers made a huge difference, because I don't think we could have afforded all these plants if not. Okay, don't have a replacement for that walnut just yet. It's coming in now. So I guess I will do that in the meantime. If I could get one more sun somewhere. And if this starts to look overwhelming, remember that I still have the candy. And I guess I could use it now. Just to clear this stuff out, boom. Was that the last of it? Nope, there's a gargantuar coming out. I guess I should have saved it. In the meantime, the Grapes of Wrath have put Grapes of Wrath all over the place around here. But none of them are on the lane that the Gargantua is in, so that's actually really, really silly. Uh, so I guess in the meantime, he's gonna try to slam through that Walnut. We'll just try to slam through him. Got it. As soon as you get through that Sunflower, Take some time, right? We can actually speed things up pretty well. I think that we got this guy. Because as soon as he does all that, guess what I have? Oh, he missed that one or something? Weird, he did not hit. There we go, another sunflower. And guess what, after that, another walnut. I think he's stuck there forever. So that's pretty nice. So the slowdown is pretty important. It makes me think I should probably just Get another bamboo shoot here just for more active firepower. Cause there we go, gets knocked out. Awesome. So that level actually went really, really well. We planned it out well and actually got some nice results because of that. So I'll go ahead and get some extra stuff here. We'll give it a thumbs up and we'll keep moving. 
So, we're still, you know, trying to make our way through this day. We have a while to go, but we have enough to set the bait. There, no self-respecting mystery creature would pass up a meal like this. And now we play the waiting game. Four minutes later. Not a very long wait. I hate the frimple waiting game. How long has it been? Has the trap caught anything yet? I don't think it has. We have to be patient, Uncle Dave. This could take a while. How about a song to pass the time? Oh, 10 million bottles of Gurg on the wall. 10 million bottles of Gurg. Decoration, forgive me for cutting the wonderful song short, Creator Dave, but the snare has been triggered. Yes, let's go check the trap to see what we've caught. Huh, so we need to get three more levels done to go and check the trap. Let's give this a try then. I think we'll definitely try to get this one done by the end of today, and then uh, that might be where we leave it, but it's already been a pretty intense day. So ready, set, plant. Let's go for some more stuff here. Got it. And we're just able to keep all these power-ups each level. It's really useful. Been a game changer so far. So definitely worth it to get some levels in during this event. These levels might be pretty challenging without this. Okay. So, zombies coming in there. Gets knocked out. The random patches of dirt here aren't so helpful, but seems like we can make things work still. Okay, so here's our first zombie coming in. I think I'll just do cabbage pull for now. I did not mean to put the sun farther, but it's fine. Okay, so. I guess for now, like I said, I might be better just to stack up some flowers and then start removing them later. So we'll do that. This one imp shouldn't be too big of a deal for the cabbage pot. I would hope, but we'll see. Okay, yeah, as long as it doesn't trigger that candy machine way before it's needed and necessary, because that would be a problem. We have enough for a bonk choy. Now I, I'm not, but there we go. We're fine, we're fine. More sun's coming in. I'm just waiting for the zombies to pop up any moment here. Here we go, huge wave of zombies is approaching. So I need cabbage pole here, bong choy, and maybe an accompanied walnut with it would be awesome. Over here, especially since it's a bowling zombie, that's not so fun to deal with. And we need a cabbage pole in the second to the bottom lane. Right there. I have a feeling that maybe we should just squash this one. I'm trying to really make sure that all of our sun does not go to waste. And then if I could get one more sun here, I'm a little bit nervous about doing this, but I might be able to, oh no, it gets instantly eaten. That does really set us off then. Okay, he's gonna activate the candy thing. It'll get rid of all those zombies, so that's at least good. Just trying to get these bunk choice wherever I can fit them, really. One more cabbage bowl here, so that there's one on every lane. And I'll get the Graves of Wrath, so it's something. Get another cabbage bowl here. And that bottom lane's gonna need it eventually, but it's just one imp for now. The huge wave is approaching, I need to be prepared for it. We got plenty more sunflowers here to help. So, let's do a walnut right there. And then probably just squish this dude. I think that's good. There's two bowling zombies up top though, so maybe I should have focused on that. Yeah, especially as they're very audibly bowling at us. Just need more sun. Then maybe one more cabbage pole up this way. That seems good. I need a walnut right here. Oh no, I missed out on some sun, I think. Unfortunate. And then maybe a cabbage pole here. That seems fine enough to me. This bottom lane actually is what needs the most attention at the moment. I have enough to make all this work, I think. Okay, I think out of the both of these, yeah, there's three bowling zombies on the bottom. That needs our, our bunk choice more than anything. There we go. We're making this work as the last wave is starting to pop up. So while the candy machine got activated sooner than I wanted it to, I think it's okay. We're still making things work here. So who do I wanna go for first? I think I'll do this. Not too many zombies on the top lane, but they are still there. Got it. And then I think this set of three zombies. Ah, uh, didn't quite get. 
the, uh, okay, now the Gorgator. Gorgator are always possible a little bit later than I anticipated. Uh, the squash did not squish all three of the people. I wanted the two there. Okay, I'm gonna put another. Yeah, here we go. Do something like that, do something like this. Put a walnut there. And then while you're getting punched at, Sunflower again. Really try to buy up that time. Okay, the imp's a little bit scary, but with four cabbage plots, it deals with most of it. Okay, here's my hope, is that the squash can finish you off. We'll see. If not, okay, there it goes. I was gonna say, if not, we might be in a bit of trouble, but we found a way to make it work. Lawn, clear again. Not bad, but we still have three more, or two more levels to get through, so let's just not waste any time. Hop back into it. Okay, so what does level 76 have in store for us? Yes, we get electric reeds, my favorite. All right, let's go with this one then and see how it goes. Whoa, we got the checkerboard dirt pattern here. That does make things a little bit complicated, but for right now, it's all about sunflowers, so we get everything else out. Honestly, I think that prioritizing as many electric reeds as possible is basically gonna be our go-to thing here. I might eventually have to dig up these sunflowers and put them somewhere else. The ones in the middle at the least, because I want those three central lines to be as populated with electric reeds as possible. So that first imp, not a problem. And we'll do this and then another sunflower right down here. So they're hard at work, they're getting stuff done. Okay, so I'm waiting for the first zombie to pop up. It's gonna be right down here. So like I said, an electric reed should be able to handle you. And maybe I could just put this out here. I'm a little bit worried about that, but we'll do what we can. Put this here. If I can get one more sun, I can also put a bong choy out this way. That might be a difference maker. Yeah. Okay. So, I will put a sunflower there. I don't think that's too bad. Definitely still a little scary to make all this work, but I'm doing what I can, I think. Right there, we can get five sun, we can get an additional electric readout somewhere. Definitely a difficult pattern to work on. But that's doing the trick for sure. I'll get more sunflowers up for the time being, but I definitely need to change that later. I might, ooh, looks like they got to the candy machine. That's fine. Ooh, okay. Oh no, I'm missing some sun. We got the Grace of Wrath too to clean things up too. Awesome. Let me go on this bottom one. Take you up, put an electric reed there instead. So. I don't really see my opportunity to use bamboo shoots here, to be honest with you. I'm just gonna, oh, they get eaten right away. That wasn't worth it. Final wave is approaching. This could get really dicey. For the time being, I just sort of go all in on the electric reeds. Maybe even put another one here. That seems good, especially with the gargantua coming down. I'm just immediately gonna start squashing. And then, oh, that top lane. Also looking real scary. I could get one more sun. That's one more electric reed here. And that does a decent amount. Yeah, that top lane isn't looking so good. I really don't know too much about what to do about it, but we gotta do something. If I can get one more sun, I can at least get Bong Choy right here. I think top lane is just gonna get destroyed here, but if I could just get one more sun, I think I can squash this Gargantua in time. And it's the second squash, so it should knock him out. Okay, that's not enough. Uh-oh. Uh. -oh. uh yeah, oh no, okay, the last electric read, the last zap is what did him in. I cannot believe that, we got so lucky. That was awesome. It's definitely a hard one to actually make a good strategy out of. Um, we do get some coins and stuff, not bad. Okay, so let's see what the next level has in store for us. I think this will be the last one that we do today so that we can uh, move on to part five of this day, but we got a lot going on. We still have our victory streak going, so we do get these benefits. All right, ready, set, plant. I think for right now, up at the sunflowers, we get a full row of walnuts. We definitely need to make the most out of those. So I think the idea would be more sunflowers out here. Once zombies pop, start popping up in the spot where 
they're going to be a lot more challenging to deal with. That's when we can start placing plants down. But I think for right now, just earning up sun is fine. We can maybe even put them a little farther ahead of the walnuts, even though they will definitely eventually get eight and nut. I think it's okay. So. That imp knocked out. We get three points for it too, which is always nice. So yeah, I'll put this out here. Unfortunately, the candy machine isn't really in the best spot in my opinion, because it might get activated here and I really don't want that to happen. I think that the snow pea has got it under control though. Okay, yeah, I gotta focus on these other lanes anyway, so we'll do a bit of that. And then down here, yeah, that one sunflower already get, gonna get gobbled up, which is very unfortunate, but as long as like, they can produce two sun before they get knocked out. I, I guess we at least struck even. I don't know if it did that. Okay, we need to do something about right over here. There we go, there we go. So many imps this time, it's pretty crazy. Got it. And as soon as that's dealt with, get another sunflower over there. And just fo focus on the snow peas getting out here, if not anything else. So right here, huge wave of zombies is approaching. We got the bowling zombie showing up, great. One snow pea for every lane is inevitably the best thing for right now. Which luckily the only lane that doesn't have a snow pea right now also doesn't have any zombies, so that's good. Put a bong choy over there to prepare for that. I mean, they're definitely gonna be reaching this over here, unless I squish them. I wanna keep this candy machine for as long as possible. After all, okay, now they're showing up on that one. As soon as I put a sunflower there, down there, that is definitely not gonna pay back its investment in time. So I just lost the sun overall for that one. Did they still reach it? I think I accidentally clicked it. Darn, that's not good. So, we have a bong choy on every lane, punching away. I think at this rate, or not a bong choy, we have a snow pea on each lane, shooting away. Now I need to get a bong choy on each lane, punching away. <laughs> that's what I meant to say. All right, um. We're almost there. I just need to get this one and that one. There we go. We're pretty well set up for that then. There's a lot of zombies over here. Maybe I squish them. I think so. That was like a double bucket head and a bowling zombie. Seems pretty scary. So we'll do that there. This is the uh, second flag out of three here. I think this is where we want to start working on getting some pea shooters out though, wherever I can get them. So I need one more sun. Get that there. Our squash is more than halfway to being available again too, which could be good. All right, lots of extra points coming in. All right, final wave approaching. I don't have everything where it's supposed to be, but it's not so bad. I think a pew shooter here wouldn't be so bad. Ooh. Against a Gargantuar, huh? If I could do this, oh, now it won't get the Gargantuar. So that was maybe not so good, but it's okay. I set this up here. I think the other lanes are most likely gonna be fine. Yeah, we're looking okay. So I might just do a sunflower, wherever I can fit them really, for a little bit. That seems like a good idea. Put another one up there. If I can afford a bonk choy, and then put it behind the gargantuar, so we get this double punch going on. That's really, really good. And then as soon as we can, we'll hit you with the squash as well. And this really, yeah, try to burn up the time there. We did really, really nice with that. So that's another level completed pretty well as soon as we get yeah, rid of that bowling zombie. Awesome. So, law and clear, Crazy David, all the plants are real happy about it. We get 139 coins and a taco ticket. So, we have three tickets in total. That should be enough to see what's inside of the trap right over here. So, check on the trap. What is in there? Well, what did we triple trap, Patrice? Whatever it is, it's not happy to be caught in there. It keeps moving around, but I see something shiny. Oh, it's a name tag. Maybe if we get a little closer, I can read the name tag. All right, so it looks like we'll need to play one more level to go read the name tag in the next episode of Plants vs. Zombies 3. Welcome to Zomburbia. Thank you guys so much for watching. I'll see you next time. Bye-bye.